Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this um, equation. B multiplied by B multiplied by B plus B equal to 10. Now this means we are having B to the power of 3 plus B equal to 10, right? Now this is simple. The next thing we are going to do is bring in B I'm um, bringing 10 to the left, so we have b to the power of 3 plus b minus 10, and this is equal to 0. Then the next thing we're going to do is this. We are going to break minus 10 into 2, so we have b to the power of 3 plus b minus 8 minus 2 equal to 0 because minus 8 minus 2 will give us um, minus 10. But I'm picking this because I know that 8 can be written in index form so that it would have 3 as the power. This is the same as b to the power of 3 plus b minus um, 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 equal to 0. Now we can compare what we have, bringing this and this together as we have b to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 and then plus this is going to come down then minus b and um, minus 2 which is equal to 0 so why don't we have these two and deal with them separately if we're going to deal with these two we will follow this standard a to the power of 3 okay we already have b in the problem so let me use x x to the power of 3 minus y to the power of 3 this is the same thing as x minus y into bracket x squared, right? So we have x squared um, plus xy, then we have plus y squared. So this is just for this first um the first term here what we have in the bracket okay so we're going to apply this same standard to this so that our x minus y now becomes b minus 2 b minus 2 in the first bracket then in the second bracket we have b squared plus xy becomes 2 times b that would be 2b then plus b squared in place of this y squared okay y squared here it's going to be 2 squared so we have plus 2 squared close this then plus open bracket we have b minus 2 and this is equal to 0 right so from here we have b minus 2 into b squared plus 2b plus 4 plus 4 then plus um, here we have open bracket b minus 2 which is equal to 0 now what I am going to do is to factor out b minus 2 since it belongs to both of them so b minus 2 is out as a common factor and here I'll have b squared plus 2b plus 4 then Let's have this and this. Then plus here, b minus 2 divided by b minus 2 will give us 1. Then close this and equate this to 0. Now the next thing we'll do is this. b minus 2 is the common factor. Then in the second bracket, we'll be having b squared plus 2b plus 5, right? Because 4 plus 1 is 5. Close this and equate this to 0. Now apply your zero product rule, where we have b minus 2 to be equal to 0 and b is equal to 0 plus 2 so that our b is equal to 2. This becomes the first value of 2. Now to get the other two values of 2, we go back to this quadratic expression and we equate it to 0 so that it will become a quadratic equation. So we have b squared plus 2b plus 5 
equal to zero. So this is now a quadratic equation. Use the formula to deal with this, right? So for the formula, we have um okay, so um how do I change the sign? Because there's b in the formula, right? Okay, so let me assume that what we're having here, okay, let's use b. So we have we're going to have b over here equal to b prime. Okay, so b prime is what we have we're going to have in the formula because we already have b outside here. So b prime negative b prime rather plus or minus we have square root of b prime squared okay we have b prime squared then minus 4ac all over 2a i'm having b prime because i don't want to have the same b here and still have it here remember we are looking for the value of b okay now what we're going to do is substitute straight into the the formula okay so from here we will substitute into the formula so that b will be equal to place of minus b prime will be having minus 2 then plus or minus open bracket b prime squared will give us 2 squared right so we have 2 squared then minus 4 times a then times c which is 5 this is all over 2 times 1 because a is 1 now b is equal to minus 2 plus or minus we have square root of 4 minus 20 and this is all over 2 right to continue with this our b is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of negative 16 and this is over 2 now to continue with this we have b which will be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of negative 16 will give us some um, okay this is actually 2 square root of negative from um, 16 will give us some um, 4i because of the negative and this is still over 2 now from here 2 can go there and it will go there so b now will be equal to 2 into minus 2 will give minus 1 then we have plus or minus 2 into 4 will give us 2 then we have our 2i so this is to say that um, b is equal to minus 1 plus 2i or minus 1 minus 2i so these are the other two values of b now bringing the three values together we get our b1 which is equal to 2 we get our b2 which is equal to minus 1 plus 2i and we get our b3 which will be from here minus 1 minus 2i so these are the three values of b according to the equation but trust me we have solved it completely